All right, we have Christina Williams with us. She returns to action in the XS XFC cage. Excuse me. Tough for me to say. March 27th, Young Guns 1 is the event taking on Helen Lucero. Christina, good to see you. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. So first fight with the new promotion coming up in a little over a week's time as we record this conversation right now. You just wrapped up a six-fight run with Bellator, the place you pretty much grew up as a professional MMA fighter. You spent your entire pro career there. How does it feel to move on and slap a fresh coat of paint, so to speak? Um, I mean, it's a little sad, um, but at the same time, I was ready for something new, and I'm really excited about, you know, trying my hand at this new organization and seeing where it takes me from there. Were, were you surprised that you were ultimately given your release? Because I know they, they had kind of a purge of the roster, but it seems like maybe the writing was on the wall. Maybe it was like good timing overall for you to kind of spread your wings. Yeah, I think we both kind of felt the same way. I, you know, was ready to, you know, try something else and maybe see where I can get outside of Bellator. Um, I think that, you know, they we left on really good terms. So, you know, who knows what happens in the future. But, you know, yeah, I don't I wasn't really surprised when it happened. What would you say you learned the most from your experience with Bellator? I definitely learned that I needed to evolve. Um, my fight game needed to evolve a lot, and I needed to become more technical. Um, I, you know, lots of ring experience. I only had three amateur MMA fights before that, so I kind of jumped right in there, and you know, it it really just taught me like how much I needed to up my game. Yeah, it's it's interesting you say that because I, I was there for your Bellator debut when you fought Heather Hardy. It was like one of the first events I covered covering the sport. And, you know, Heather was being pushed in a big way. You came in, you had a tremendous showing, you, you beat her up pretty badly, and you were kind of off to the races from there. Like you were immediately had sort of the rocket strapped to you. And, you know, you got a lot of shine from that performance. And then you get Emily Dakote in your second pro fight. You get Valerie Latorno in your third pro fight who fought for a UFC title. And then the competition just kind of went up from there. So I'm curious, is there any Anything you would have done differently or is the story written the way it was supposed to you know i mean i could have you know, not taken a couple fights but i re that's really not who i am to you know turn down fights um i <laughs> just take every challenge that i can and you know i'm i'm happy that i had those fights it was a really good learning experience for me so you're getting back after it next weekend, but the road to get there, from what I understand, it was a little bit rough because I know you suffered a, a pretty nasty injury in training last year. What, was it was it your shin, your leg? Like what happened? Yeah, so I threw a kick and it got checked, and my ship I broke my shin, so I had to have like a full surgery, like a rod in my leg, and a, like pretty long recovery from there. It was just a, a freak deal. Was it like Anderson Silva esque kind of yeah. a thing? Oh man! It was, so it was like, oh, it's one of those. <laughs> I didn't step on it. I knew it immediately when it happened. So I was just like, I'm just gonna sit down, <laughs> not step on this leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so brutal. And uh, you know, yeah, I mean, you've always been pretty active, like especially like your amateur run, like heading into Bellator and. You know, it stinks being injured and having to deal with rehab recovery, especially for an injury like that. I can't even imagine. But, you know, in the same time, from a mental perspective, it's good to step away and kind of focus on other things. Like, how would you describe the last several months overall with the recovery and what, you, what you've been able to do during that time, like outside of fighting? Um, I think it was really good. I got back into like really teaching a lot with my horses and teaching a lot of riding lessons and took that full time. And at that really... I really love doing that. So it kind of got my head in a really good place to get back into training while working full time there. So like I, I'm in a like I've been in a better place than I have been in a really long time mentally. So you do that full time outside of the fight game? Yes. It's nice to have a distraction like that, right? Like it's not just fight, 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 fight. You can do other things that you really like to do and take yeah. your mind off of, you know, punching and kicking and getting hit. <laughs> yes, for sure. Has it been like, has there been like an, an uptick in lessons because of the pandemic? Like you're outside. It's not like you're like indoors or anything. So, and it's, people are saying like, get outside, get the vitamin D, et cetera. Are you getting like a lot of lessons out of this? Yes. I really think that's why that we picked up so much. We, 
have at least doubled our lessons since it started and like people are looking for horses and stuff. So it's, it's been very good for us. How long did it take for you to get cleared to start training and get ready to fight again? Um, well, I started like kind of going back to training after two months only just doing light stuff. I couldn't stay out of the gym. So like really I got an x-ray at, four months I think it was and they said just do what you can do like if it hurts you know stop but do as much as you can do and that's the last time I was there and it's been great ever since like I really don't feel like I've had anything happen at this point so have you you been throwing kicks at 100% now yeah it doesn't bother me at all have they been checked yeah Good. There you go. And we're good to go. <laughs> it's probably stronger now, right? Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> of the rod and everything? Yeah. What's it? Is it like in your shin? Yeah, it's inside the shin bone. That's why it's not a problem for anything as far as fighting goes. Oh, man. You're like you're like RoboCop right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. And Helen Lucero is going to be the one who have to experience that leg now. She has, and, and her style is kind of perfect for that because she likes to stand and bang, which is something that throughout your career you're not opposed to. So I'm curious, like with the experience you had with Heather Hardy, I feel like there's some similarities there in this fight. But, you know, you're a different fighter now than you were in 2017. She's probably going to want to entice you into a brawl. Are you expecting yeah. that? And like, how do you plan to stay in the right frame of mind to kind of keep it the way you want it to go? Uh, I mean, a lot of game planning and a lot of just reps of not getting into the brawl, staying technical and staying long. Um, I still, you know, want to return and I want to, you know, fight. I like I, I like to stand up and I do like to throw a lot. So it's just being smart with how I throw, really. Kind of like a controlled aggression yeah. almost. Exactly. Is this like a... Because I know XFC has like different sort of layers of, of contracts and how they deal with things. Like there's different tournaments and stuff like that. And I don't think this is like part of their tournament or anything. So is this just like a fight at a time kind of thing with them? Yes, I don't have a contract signed with them. Are you you're good? You're good with that? Because, again, you can fight there. And then after this, you can go fight anywhere you want. Yes, I like to keep my options open right now. It's- so what's the goal here in 2021? Like, I know not being on the Bellator roster anymore, uh, I'm, like you said, there's other avenues you can take. I'm sure there's a part of you that's hoping that this, these new roads you're taking possibly leads to the UFC, join Sarah Alpar, et cetera. What are sort of like the short term goals that you're hoping to achieve this year to get closer to that? This year, I just want to be as active as possible. I feel like I do so much better when I'm very active. Like my first year with Bellator, I fought three times and then I only had one fight each year um, in the next two years. So I do much better when I'm active and I want to rack out as many fights as I can this year. And you fought what, three times at amateur at 27? So you fought what, six times in 2017? Well, with between 20, I guess it was 2017, I started my amateur career. So yeah, five or six times that year. That was a very busy year. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, would you want to do something like that again or not quite as active? I don't know if I'll be able to do like five or six, but I want to do at least three, if not four. There you go. Well, the next step, the first fight of 2021 goes down March 27th, XFC Young Guns 1 against Helen Lucero. How do we uh, how do we get this thing done? What are we what are we going to see from you from the War Horse on March 27th? I think you're going to see my my striking cleaned up, more technical, and I'm, you know, I'm still going to give an exciting fight, but hopefully we'll get some grappling in there too. Are you, are you, have you like switched camps at all? Or are you bounce? I, I saw, I was watching your interview with James Lynch and I thought you might've said something like that. Yes. I switched to training with, um, Justin Stone, um, at Panda Grappling and Kickboxing and then at Legacy Martial Arts with Justin Raider. Um, so just needed a new, a new look. Fresh coats, coats of paint everywhere in the, in the training room yeah. and in the, in the cage itself. Well, there you go. Well, we're excited to see this next chapter begin for you next weekend, Christina. Glad to see that your recovery went smoothly and, you know, you got back in there, you took your time and now you're ready to get back in there and and, and do the darn thing. So thanks for jumping on. All the best to you in the fight next weekend, Christina. Thank you so much.